Beginning tomorrow, anyone in the U.S. will be able to pick up the phone and dial three numbers to chat with a trained mental health counselor. But as Mandy Gaither shows us, there are concerns that many states may not be ready for what's expected to be an influx of, influx of calls. Three numbers, 988, a direct line to a trained crisis counselor. It really treats mental health on par with physical health, just like we have 911. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline started in 2005, but as a 10 digit number. In 2020, the call line received 3.6 million calls, chats, and texts. That number is expected to double in this first year as the number switches to an easier to remember three digits. The number that you call is the therapeutic intervention, unlike 911, which is more of a dispatch center for medical problems. But with more than 200 call centers nationwide already stretched thin, some mental health groups are worried 988 could exhaust resources and result in longer wait times and dropped calls. Officials acknowledge the lifeline isn't expected to be fully staffed at rollout. Dr. Christine Yu Moutier, chief medical officer for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, says it's crucial for states to get behind the local crisis centers and back mental health resources. This will be a process of a build and it's already been happening for, you know, for months to years at this point. Moutier says easy access to mental health help is critical to save lives. In the great majority of cases, suicidal ideation is reduced, distress is reduced, and oftentimes individuals are ready to take that next step. I'm Mandy Gaither. Now here in Hawaii, anyone with 808 area code can call 988 to be connected to the Department of Health's Hawaii Cares Crisis Helpline. If you call from a different area code, you will be connected to a crisis center in another state.